this two minute video I share tales of triumph and generosity from around the UK. The pandemic has been tough on us all, but particularly so for care home residents. To ease the sense of isolation that many people in care homes feel, an army of postcard writers has sprung up across the UK. Each week, thousands of people write to people they have never met as part of the Postcodes of Kindness scheme. Some senders even draw or paint the images on the postcards themselves. Flowers, animals and landscapes are popular subject matters. While the cheerful messages on the postcards delight the recipients, the images help to evoke memories and start conversations. To give you an idea of how many postcards are sent, the Postcodes of Kindness Facebook group has 45,000 members, some of whom send 20 to 30 cards a week. Our hero of the week is Keith, an intensive care nurse at Royal Pampworth Hospital, Cambridge. Keith stepped in to play hairstylist for a patient on his ward who was preparing to propose to his girlfriend. Jordan Simon, a heart transplant recipient, was hospitalised on 22nd December due to kidney problems. After spending Christmas alone, doctors allowed Jordan a special visit from his girlfriend, Beth. Jordan decided to use the opportunity to pop the question to Beth and called upon Keith to help him look sharp for his big moment. Keith was more nervous than me, to be honest, laughed Jordan, as he explained to the BBC that Beth had tearfully accepted his proposal. We didn't know it was possible to complete, compete in a karate competition remotely, but as we learned this week from the story of Hampshire schoolboy Tom Clems, it is. Instead of spending lockdown playing computer games or watching YouTube, 12-year-old Tom has been focusing on his international karate career from the safety of his back garden. Tom has a fighting studio at his home from where he trains and competes. So far, he has high kicked his way through 20 online karate competitions and is now ranked second in the world in the under 13 kata division. We bet that when Tom's school reopens, no one will mess with him in the playground. From all of us here at Oliver James and Love M for 44, have a good weekend, stay safe and stay hopeful.